Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today what we're going to be making is a staple of pretty much every low carb, keto, Atkins, all of the kitchens. <laughs> what we're going to be making is mashed cauliflower. Now for this, what we're going to need is a whole head of cauliflower cut with the florets. We don't want any of the stem, we just want the actual the flowery parts. So we removed all of the stem because that's a little bit woody. We want some salt and pepper. I put a cup of water. Just enough to coat the bottom of the dish in question. And about two tablespoons of cream cheese. Now, for what I'm going to be doing, you're going to need a food processor, okay? Or something equivalent. Otherwise, you're going to be mashing with a hand masher for like ever, okay? Now, the reason I do it in the microwave is quite simple. I find that boiling it or steaming it traditionally makes too much moisture in the the cauliflower. You don't want soupy mash. You want a nice, firm, sort of gloopy, sort of mashed potato weeds texture. Okay, so uh, let's get this in the microwave. We'll, we'll put this here, just enough to cover the bottom. A little sprinkle of pepper, a little sprinkle of salt, and we'll put that in the microwave for five minutes with a piece of parchment paper over the top. Let's get back to that. Okay, and here we have the cauliflower, nice and well steamed and ready to go. Uh, we have it in the food processor. We're going to add a little more pepper, nice fresh pepper is always nice. A little more salt, and we're going to add about half a cup of cream cheese, okay? Now, what the cream cheese is going to do is it's going to take a little bit of that cauliflower flavor and meat get rid of it and at the same time it's going to give it a sort of texture okay, so we're going to puree that we're going to puree that on several pulses uh, just to make sure we get every piece the sides down because some of it tries to escape. We all know how food prices are. As you can see the mash is starting to form. Cream cheese is sort of making everything stick together nicely. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of flavor, uh, maybe a little bit of garlic, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, now's the time to do it. We're gonna give this cream a little bit of Okay, and here we go. We turn this out into our serving dish, or we scoop it up for our family. And here we have beautiful cream cheese mashed cauliflower. Now, uh, don't forget to thumbs up, hit the little bell, uh, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.